how are you? <laughs> my voice cracked immediately. Hey guys, how are you? My name is Sarah. If you are new here, welcome. So if you guys don't already know, last December, about a year ago, I got the privilege to actually stay overnight in The Conjuring House. So I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to Paranormal New England who gave us this opportunity to investigate with them as well as the current owners of the house, Corey and his wife, Jennifer. Really quick though, before we get into the footage from that night, um, I just wanted to give a really exciting announcement that my twin sister, Vicky, and I have actually started our own investigation team. So it's called Bentley Paranormal. And if you guys don't know Vicky or haven't been to my channel before, we've actually been a uh, part of a couple different teams around New England, even down in Gettysburg. We've participated in investigations there from a very young age. So we actually started um, just last month and we've already had, I think, about four investigations and they've been super successful, super exciting. I cannot wait to get you guys all that content. Of course, I'll be listing all of the information and where you can find us on social media in the description box down below. I guess I will stop rambling and show you guys our night at the Conjuring House. Yeah. But a seance is an exorcist. Okay. Because he said, because they said that he couldn't officially do an exorcism. That's what they called it in the movie, but yeah. it really was a seance. Yeah. But it's basically the same thing? Yeah, it's the same is thing. It? You're trying to, what you're trying to do is you're trying, you're calling in the yeah. Oh, it's chilly up there. Yeah. Actually, it's, it's pretty warm upstairs. Is it? Yeah, because yeah, he rises. From the stairway. Chilly in here. Yeah, it's chilly. Oh, I told you, it's impossible to keep this pretty cold. So I want to take a quick moment to talk about the orbs that you guys might be seeing in this video. I consider myself pretty skeptical about orbs in videos and pictures because although I have definitely caught my fair share of uh, what I would consider to be real uh, spirits trying to manifest themselves, a lot of times it can just be light refractions or um, dust particles, even bugs. You see it all the time um, and actually throughout this video you guys will see these blue and green uh, lights or orbs pop up and just kind of move along the frame. Just keep in mind that definitely could or could not be paranormal. I'm not saying it is. I personally lean towards it being light refractions or um, from my camera or dust. Yeah. She said that was the absolute worst that she I ever saw did. this and I was and like, oh, they have door stoppers here. <laughs> I already got creepy vibes from the bathroom. It's much bigger than I expected it to be. I don't want to turn on the light, but yeah, it's kind of creepy in here. Nails. Oh, but what did you say? It's a born and normal brother. So if you go in there, we can see you oh, have a baby. baby. Sarah, baby. <laughs> Sarah, look at the baby. You're going to get instantly <laughs> pregnant if you go in there. Ooh, I feel it. <laughs> no, I think it was the taco. Was this one of the oh, indigestion. What is this? It's boarding room where people have babies. <laughs> Nope. Go. Hey, babe. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys in eight hours. <laughs> That's it's probably small. Yeah. Oh, I like these. Oh, there's so many skeletons set up. Yeah. <laughs> kind of makes it a lighter mood. Maybe. 
<laughs> well, we, you're we, in there with it. We would hope people would open it and go, Jesus, but <laughs> obviously you Oops. guys are used to seeing stuff like that. No, so. we're used That's to pranks. The stuff that yeah. Well, these are tiny stairs. Okay, have fun being alone. Yeah. Um, they said over here was where, like, this is where the barn was, um, and they would um, store like yeah, vegetables and such, and uh -huh. they would like prepare them here, and then yeah, the storage was in here. Just a normal. So this is the well. So they said, be careful. Okay. Yeah. Water down there. yeah, they said they put a GoPro down there. It wasn't a huge Supposedly, Roger um, felt like the woman who attacked his wife um, was present here. Mm -hmm. And um, supposedly, he felt like she, the spirit, wanted to get rid of his wife because she wanted she Roger. Wanted so, supposedly, ah. Roger said he would believe that, that. Um, oh, she, she hangs out. Oh, oh, watch your head. Yeah. Right, right. We're here. We're here. Oh, we're right here. <laughs> Very comfy. <laughs> so comfy. <laughs> or we'd appreciate it if you could make a noise in the room again. Did you knock on the wall or on the floor? Push one of the books off. How many spirits are here? Talk to us. That's you can talk you to mimicked us. it. I wasn't kidding. <laughs> We're here for you. You can talk to us. I keep hearing it. Someone talking? If you are, can you come talk to one of us? Is there a room in the house that you'd rather we go to? Good point. Right against the wall down here. Oh. Oh. Is it working now? One glass is in there, right? Oh, there's something on it. Huh? Okay, so at this time, we had just come down from upstairs. And as I was walking through the doorway from the kitchen to the living room, I actually um, felt like someone was behind me. I thought it was Nick or my sister or one of our investigators. Uh, when I turned around, I was shocked to find out that no one was there because I was that sure that I had felt a presence behind me. Right after feeling this presence, I turned back around to where I was heading and saw a shadow in front of me. I also noticed that one of the lights on the chandelier had actually gone out for a quick second and then come back on. Can you come touch one of these lights and make it go out? We saw you do it once. Oh, jeez, you scared me. I, like, looked up. You're standing right there <laughs> looking at me. Cheddar bunnies, cheddar bunnies. Eat them because they are so funny. <laughs> monster! Monster! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I don't like that. I got a weird feeling. Uh, yeah, lo standing in the doorway looking up the stairs gives me heebie-jeebies. <laughs> What? That's shaking. What's shaking? The, the, this thing. Did somebody just step over here? This thing? Oh, Jesus. What? No, I think yeah, that's right. Oh, oh, oh no. That's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> wow, debunked. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, which one was it? It was uh, the one. Oh my where, gosh. Yeah. yeah, that's creepy. Get <laughs> 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 the heck out of here. <laughs> 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 There's a logical explanation. I don't know why that makes me feel <laughs> weird. I'll go with How fast can you run? Well, see you later. I'm going back upstairs. Ain't worth it. Uh, I just heard noise. I just heard noise in that room that I was just falling in. Yeah, right in there. <laughs> yeah, but that was like a different noise. It was almost like that, like someone was walking on, like, like this. That's right here. That's what I heard. Huh. Is there somebody in here? Hey guys, we're gonna do a quick EVP in here, okay? We are down in the basement with the well and conjuring house. Sarah just heard some tapping in here, so we're gonna do a quick EVP. But we also heard the boom, boom, boom. I heard that. I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I meant. So there were there were both noises. We both heard something in here. Okay. Boom, 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 like that. Yeah. So we want to know if that was you. Can you do it again for us? Maybe louder? Can you tell us who's down here? Talk to us. We're here for you. Supposedly there was a little boy who drowned on the property. Can you tell us your name? If you're here. I'll pull a Joe. Can you tell us a color? What's the color on that box? We're in the middle of the room. Tell us the color. Okay, what is that? What color yeah, is what right was on top that? of my what? camera? Hmm? What did you guys hear? I just heard someone talking. Oh, I just heard it again. Are they down? Everybody's down here in class? Yeah. Okay, I want to stop this and we can play it back. We are down in the basement with the well. Waiting for you. Supposedly there was a little boy who drowned. Was somebody whispering there? Yeah, what was that? Against my better judgment. Oh, are you? So, bit. I've never done it. Yeah, I've never done one. Oh, I have one. And it's like, no, I've never done one. I mean, I'm haunted. <laughs> that's, that's what I mean anyway. Yeah. I didn't even like doing them in places that weren't haunted. Right. You're actually yeah. supposed to do it where you, um, <laughs> like on a table, your knees are supposed to be touching. There's certain ways you're supposed to. I'm sure it'll work fine that way. Yeah. <laughs> instead. Um, yeah. That's the I'm sure it'll work fine. Yeah. Really that's really the really opportune to talk, way so. to do it. Do we want to put this on the floor? Because I'm sitting down Maybe so low, I can't see like what the yeah, thing is over. Can you tell us your name? Frank. Can you spell out your name with that for us? <laughs> what time is it time? We're not going to debunk that. I'm resting my arm, but I'm not supposed to, right? Okay. Oh, well, I love that you have your Ouija right there. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Can you use Sarah's arm to communicate with me? Is there a spirit present? Okay. Are you here? Yes or no? Yeah, like it's almost. It is. It's, it, it is moving. <laughs> it takes a while. This is the part where we're like, um, are you guys doing that? I'm not, <laughs> I'm not doing yeah, that. I'm, not, I'm just very light. It's your, it's your subconscious. subconscious. I'm like, subconscious tell. I feel like I'm not putting enough pressure to even. Like, yeah, do it's anything. just like it's wanting to go. Like, in it's a kind of trying to go. Is there a spirit here or that? Can you no. place it over? Yes or no. Why is it gonna roll up all over your bed? <laughs> <laughs> Don't say no. Yeah. <laughs> Got no 
Can you spell your name out for us? I mean, has it already gone right almost over the S? No, I'm trying to spell. It'll go from it's letter. It's moving so it'll go slowly. From letter yeah, but to letter. it definitely wasn't over the S before, and now it's like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, someone in the other room. Probably first. Oh, I thought he was behind he's, me. He's, he's Ew, wait, I thought he was behind oh, me. He was. He was. Look. Do you not like us using the Ouija? If you don't want us to use it, can you tell us goodbye? So what do we do now? So do we say goodbye? Just goodbye. Just goodbye. Two. I don't know, we can leave it open. <laughs> I mean, aren't you not supposed to do that? <laughs> oh, that motion slips. Like, oh, obviously we're moving. Yeah. So it's going to go on. Is it better to leave it open? Yeah. 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 I think we're going to come back later and do it. No, I, I think we should move it to goodbye for now. I would feel more comfortable doing that. Is that okay? Yeah. We're going to say goodbye. Oh. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> you guys let go. Lightly, and your knees are touching together that the Ouija board kind of sits on your knees and your knees touch together and you each put your fingers on this side of the thing and then it moves. Is dad right? Prove him right. Have you talked wrong. to dad in a previous Ouija board? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm getting that nerve pain. Yeah. In your oh. back? Yeah. It's weird. Yeah, we all like right down here. Yeah, right in your it's like almost like a sciatic. Yeah. Kind of no, I was gonna say that and so I didn't want to say it because I... people try and communicate with you through this. You can't ask too many questions. You know, whatever it wants to start ask answering, <laughs> it'll start. Oh he's flickering on the I'm like, okay, what's going on? <laughs> and the lights will flicker on and <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we'll lose green slime. <laughs> oh, they always do that. We should try the other Ouija board. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, are we using the wrong Ouija board? We can have a com we could have a competition. See which one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <worse>. a race. <laughs> Nick, you wanna <laughs> get in on this? Just, just now. Yeah, it's very specific. It's yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, that's here. Comes. <laughs> well, here she comes. <laughs> She's a ghost hunter. <laughs> this is why. This is why people watch Sarah's videos. <laughs> Well, here she comes. <laughs> Watch out, ghost, she'll hunt you up. Oh, here she comes with a voice recorder, voice recorder. Oh, here she comes. Oh. Nick's need, playing with the dead. We would need, a, we would need Heather and Carrie here to really <laughs> stir something up. Stir something up. Stir something up. Yeah, what's he doing? He's going in space. He's looking at the cross space. Oh my gosh, Frank, you're... Oh, never mind. It's your power pack. I was going to say your K2 is going off, but it's your power pack. <laughs> How far back does it go? You want to take that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you want to take a peek in there? I do. Um, it goes all the way back. It does go all the way? Yeah. If you want to get in, then I'll take a peek in there. It's almost turned right here. That's almost. Give me some more. That's the crawl space? Yeah. yeah. Ooh. It goes all the way back that way. Yeah, it really does. It goes that way, too. Well, there's another crawl space that I found. Did you guys see that one? Because that one, I think, goes the whole length. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I had a hard time, like, prying it open. You got it open up? Yeah, I did. I did just have it open, yeah. And I tried not to push it shut. There we go.
Yeah, it does go all the way. <laughs> Wait, who wants to come with me? Where? Where are you going? This last room. Yeah, sure. That's the. Oh, that's the. The ba baby room. The baby room. <laughs> We're going. Here comes the big baby now. <laughs> I'm close that way. Yep. See ya. <laughs> Another. Yeah, Frank's having a baby. <laughs> it was a baby doll. Yeah. <laughs> so we've lost Ashlyn. Yes, we just thought it was safe. Yep. She was in a closet and she just and it booked it down it the like stairs and no one can find her. Good because it ate a person. <laughs> <laughs> the house ate her. No, we were all just we right there up. saying like, oh, where'd she go? That was the last I we heard her run. From the closet. She's gonna turn up in a minute. We we heard her run. Didn't we? I did. I thought she was. I don't know if that's significant, but that's that clock stopped at three thirty one. It's stuck on it. No. Oh, uh, not moving yet. I wonder if that was like. I hope you don't provide yourself. <laughs> we thought the house ate you. Can you come speak so with Ashlyn and I? Do you want to talk to us? Did it start there? Mm hmm. It's moving, right? Mm hmm. It's just my arm on your shoulder right now. Mm -hmm. I was hoping. <laughs> oh. Did you just move that? Move. You hear that sound in the library? I heard that. Nick, was that you? Yes? No. Hmm. It was in the library. Did you read? Back pain is so real in here. Oh my god, yeah. How many spirits are in this house? You got the flashlight? Yep. You got to look in there. No one. Okay. Look up and down. It's like a whole big area in there. Ew, it does reek. Mm hmm. Mm. What is it? Ask. I told you there's a woman that hangs out in there. Uh, I don't know. I want to go back yeah. to the other room. Okay. okay. We can go back. Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like I'll come in later. point of the night it's probably nearing about 1 a.m. Frank and I decided we really wanted to go upstairs while everyone kind of chilled in the living room um, and just had like a quiet moment. We wanted to go upstairs and kind of do our own little investigation. If you guys don't know I do consider myself to be sensitive um, whatever you want to call it. But I was feeling like uh, there was definitely something upstairs going on the bedrooms are set up so that there's one here and then there's a doorway into the next one and a doorway into the next one and a doorway into the next one. And that covers the length of the house so you can see straight through to all the bedrooms. And I just felt like when I was standing in that first room, there was something at the other end that really uh, wasn't happy. So this is me kind of trying to feel anything that I can feel and just pick up on anything that could have possibly been around us at that time. What is your name? See, I'm always more communicating. That's why I can let you talk. Why do I feel like you're unhappy? Mm -hmm. 
Is it because we're here? Or is it maybe something that happened to you? If I knock, will you knock back? Oh, I just saw with my own eyes. Just a little shadow, but just uh, over the rug in this room here, the middle room. Yeah. Let me see if the camera's still on. Oh, it's not the camera, it's just a recorder. Oh, it's not the camera. It's just a... Is it this one or the first no, one? it's that one. Yeah, with a baby room. Yeah, that part doesn't even bother me as much on this. Yeah, something about this room. I wonder, uh, I gotta step away from it for a sec, but I wonder if, uh, I wonder if she likes whoever it is that I'm feeling, if they like that room because uh, of the daycare that was in there, you know, they feel protective of kids or something. Maybe. No, it's like all going on with a baby room. And... Yeah, right. What do you feel from here, Julia? Well, when I first opened that, I shut it real fast. In this room? No, somebody opened up early and I come by. It was like a... I'm getting really, really room. heavy. Whew. You okay? Yeah, I just have to step away for a sec. I, I feel like that's how things... Uh, really about a little boy in here, right? Well, yeah, they were saying. Because it's nice and warm in there. Oh, yeah, I bet. In the fireplace. I just get that's so... Heavy and overwhelmed, and I feel like that's how they they communicate with me. Mm -hmm. Is almost just, "Hi, I'm right here over you," like, that and can, I can fucking feel that. Yeah, you, yeah, no, it I makes you weak. So right? Yeah, I've actually been full blown sick. Uh, at times, can you follow us in here? Because I like this room a little better. <laughs> it's like the safe room right now for me. <laughs> if you're the little boy that's up here, can you come play with the ball? It did. <laughs> it did? Yeah. When? I don't know when. Probably, didn't. Probably an hour or so, probably. Yeah, oh, tonight though? Yeah. Oh, you guys had it on the floor? <clears throat> yeah okay and sadly at this point i did stop recording my battery was getting super super low and nicholas and i actually decided to uh try taking a nap in one of the beds so we slept in that um bedroom that we left off in in the video and the one thing that i can say i can't speak for nicholas but i know he did feel a little weird um, the one thing I can say is that I definitely felt like something wanted us to be asleep. It was almost like keeping us asleep because we would wake up here and there out of just what I would describe as like the deepest sleep I've ever been in, which was funny because we only slept a total of about an hour and a half. Now, do you guys remember when Nicholas said that he saw the clock actually stop at 3.31? It was frozen on that time. We don't know how long the clock had been frozen on that time, if it was like days or if it was from that afternoon, but we did start packing up right before 3.30 a.m. So everyone is warming up their cars, we're all sitting in the driveway, and uh, from our car, I heard what I would consider an absolute blood-curdling scream. And it sounded to me like it was coming directly from the house, uh, like a female voice just screaming. When Nick and I looked at the clock, it actually was right around 3.30 a.m. Now, 
Do I think the Conjuring house is haunted? Yes, <laughs> I do. I think there's no way that it couldn't have some sort of spirits lingering there, whether it be from before the Perrin family um, that experienced their hauntings, because there was a lot that went on on that land and in the early 1700s. Again, a huge thank you to Paranormal New England and to Corey and his wife for inviting us into the home to investigate. I can officially say that I have slept overnight in the Conjuring house and that's enough for me. <laughs> If you guys like this video and you want to see more ghost hunting content, definitely give me a big thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all those stupid things you have to do now on YouTube, and please go follow my new channel, Bentley Paranormal, with my twin sister, Vicky. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!